war. War never changes. What is up guys, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to Sanctuary Hills in Fallout 4. So, <clears throat> I have recently been getting back into Fallout 4, and I literally actually created a whole new game uh, to get back into Fallout 4 and just start with uh, mods fresh. Um, anyway, I will go ahead and get. I decided to go ahead and give you guys a tour of my Sanctuary Hills settlement with mods installed. Now I've done this before. I have done a previous uh, Sanctuary Hills settlement uh, settlement tour. I will have that linked in the description down below, as well as in a comment. Uh, so be sure to click on that if you want to see that. Unless, of course, you're watching this on TV, then you're kind of straight out of luck. But anyway, I will go. But I will go ahead and warn you guys that the mic that I used when I record that video, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. It will literally, it could quite possibly, literally give you cancer. That that was uh, that was quit a bit over the top but anyway please forgive me anyway let's go ahead and stop rambling and let's just get straight into the tour let's go so this is basically going to be kind of a part um uh, see two separate parts first part i am going to do the sanctuary settlement tour and then the second one i want to sort of talk about a couple things that i've had issues with with the mods um and i'll actually look up my mod build at some point and put it up on screen for you guys uh, when I go back to edit this video. But anyway, uh, Fisherman's Pier to the left here. Didn't really have a whole lot of ideas, so I just kind of built the Fisherman's Pier because it was like, why the fuck not, right? So, uh, yep, Fisherman's Pier. I will actually go give you guys the up close and personal of this. Just your typical Fisherman's Pier. Nothing special about it. <clears throat> now, this really, really fantastic um, power build that I have that I'm actually extremely satisfied and happy with. Uh, again, cannot take full entire credit for everything in this settlement because I had a mod uh, basically installed where I have pretty much uh, infinite building resources. So uh, yeah, otherwise that would have just took me way too long to build and it just I, I would have never done it. But anyway, over here on the left side, I have the general store. So all your different... Uh, I don't know, just different junk and shit like that, extra stuff that I didn't need that I just dropped in here just because, you know, why not? I just thought I'd throw it in there a little bit and uh, give it that sort of general storesy look. Uh, over here I have another bar, which I'm actually eventually going to be in the process of turning into a restaurant. Uh, but anyway, bar over there, everybody's in my way and I can't get to it. So, uh, I did try to sort of... Uh, put shed light on the streets, so have sort of like street light kind of thing, street lights kind of things going on. Um, the only way I really could find to do that is with construction lights, and it doesn't really look all that great. But I did that anyway. So uh, there you go. Uh, here is a house that I have built. Yep, just regular house. Moving on. Uh, oh, I passed this. <laughs> this is the uh, hospital that I built. Um, I will give you the guys a quick little look in here. It's literally just a hospital with um, like a bunch of beds. So uh, nothing, nothing special about it. But there you go. You got to see it anyway. And I keep running into this log. So let's just jump over. <clears throat> And, uh, let's see. Okay, over here is power armor, as usual. This is actually the first set of power armor that I ever got in the game. Um, I never use it anymore at all. But, uh, whatever. And this is the stash. Okay, um, I believe that, is, I actually believe this is what the mod is called that I'm using for the basically unlimited build, uh, materials. I believe it's actually just called stash. But as you guys can see here, it literally has 
pretty much infinite of every single uh, build resource that you could ever use. Um, and then I also have the carry ring, the carry weight ring mod, which basically gives you unlimited carry weight so that I can actually move around while building um, with all that stuff in my inventory. So, uh, yeah. And uh, here is the bar. This was the very first bar that I ever actually built, matter of fact. Um, and this is the one I'm most happy with. So, uh, yeah, you just got a bunch of different tables and stuff around. It's just a bar. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, let's go around here. And this is... I needed extra beds. Uh, and I wanted to use another one of these sort of ruined houses for something. So I just went ahead and turned this literally into, I guess you could say, a bunkhouse. Uh, so it's literally just sleeping rooms for... Uh, my different settlers that it's nothing special about it just sleeping rooms just because I needed extra beds so <clears throat> let's uh, continue moving on this is a house that I built um, it's a two-story house I wanted to build a building that was two stories in this town and in my settlement and uh, so yeah I just decided why not just build a two-story house so uh, yeah there you go. I, originally, I intended this to be Hancock's house. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be cool if that was actually Hancock's house. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't let you, as you all know, it doesn't let you assign certain settlers to certain houses, which is kind of a bummer. But, anyway, weapons and armor store here. Now, this... If you guys have been... If you guys haven't figured... If you guys haven't uh, been wondering yet where my power... Uh, comes from where all my generators are at. Um, the answer is, well, they're right here. This is all of my generators, and uh, yeah, there, there's literally quite a few of them. <laughs> but basically, it works as such. Um, all of these generators are all hooked up to the same grid, and then they just attached. I just attached wires to them and uh, bring them up to that to these paladin the paladins jesus these p uh, pylons here and i can actually switch uh power off on each of these pylons with this uh these switches here which i'm not going to do but uh yep that is basically well basically no basically about it this where all of my power comes from is just from here now um one final thing uh i will show you is my power armor actually uh, and that is at Sanctuary Hot Springs, which is another mod. This is another mod I want to be talking about here in a few short and about a minute or so. To uh, It's one of the mods I want to discuss. But uh, anyway, my power armor, which is right up here. I literally have jetpack on it. It is fully customized. And uh, yeah, cue short little clip of my power armor. Anyway, <clears throat> that is my power armor, fully customized and everything, and I really, really like it. So, let's go ahead and get to the second part of the video here, shall we? Okay, so this, guys, is my Sanctuary Hot Springs home. I'm actually in the process of getting all the bobbleheads, so please ignore that. That's actually, I don't know, that screws with my OCD really, really bad. Um, but anyway, this is my Sanctuary Hot Springs home. And if you guys haven't downloaded this mod, I really, really highly recommend it. This is one of the best mods, actually. Um, <clears throat> the only... All this shit is on the floor because there's no static objects. That is one downside to this uh, mod is that all of these items that are placed on tables, you just everywhere in the home, none of them are static. So, uh, yeah, either due to fallouts, dodgy physics, or just you walking anywhere, you could actually just knock them off the table entirely. But, uh, anyway, you can actually open these shutters up and you got this sort of, uh, scenery going on out there. Uh... So yeah, this is a really, really good mod. If you guys haven't downloaded it yet, I, I highly recommend it. It's actually really, really good. Um, you've got your bedroom in here. Now, usually this duffel bag, I'm not entirely sure if this is all randomized. Um, 
but yeah, this these are usually have just different random items and stuff and uh, stuff like that in them. And uh, yeah, over here I have the sort of armory thing that I've got going on. I got the alien blaster pistol there, radiated mini gun, just literally just a bunch of random shit really that um, I wanted to show off rather than sell. Uh, but anyway, mod discussion. So, let's talk about mods on Fallout 4 and my particular problem with them. So, <clears throat> mods on PlayStation 4, at least for Fallout 4. I, I don't know if it has, has. Is there any other games with mods on on PS4? I don't believe so. I think it's just Fallout 4. But anyway. Uh, whatever mods for Fallout 4 on PS4 so these this is one of the biggest issues I've had uh, with the Fallout 4 mods on on PS4 it, it, I mean <laughs> this may just be this may be both consoles Xbox one and PS4 but uh, I don't have Xbox one so as far as I know this is just a problem on PS4 but uh, have you guys not figured it out yet yeah um the UI, the user interface for this is terrible, absolutely atrocious, at least in my opinion. Some of you may not actually have a problem with it, but me, but for me, this is just atrocious. This is ridiculous. Um, look, I mean, okay, so you go to my library. These are all the different, uh... Uh, mods and things like that have you that you've used and uh, you know that you have installed or you know active so you can literally you can deactivate all of your disable all of your different mods and such here um, so you know these are the, the user interface just I don't know who who did this but it really needs to be redone um, basically how it's <laughs> how it's gonna go is uh, yeah, um, these the, here in this list is your most popular, okay? And then underneath this, that's your highest rated. I, I don't, okay, whatever. Highest rated, you, you see what the deal is here. But the problem with this is it can get so, so tedious. Uh, say, especially if you're looking for one particular, one specific mod in particular, and you don't really know what the exact name of it is, uh, then yeah, you're gonna have to scroll through all of this constantly to try and find it. And it's just really, really tedious. I do not like this idea, th this user interface at all. Um,. Now, once I've actually installed the mods and I've ac and I've activated them, they actually run really, really well on Fallout 4. And as everybody knows, mods basically add—they're uh, pretty much limited to what they're what people can do. Uh, but the user interface here just—it's really, really bad. I do not like it. Um, but I guess I can't really expect too awful much for mods on console. I mean. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't really care for the user interface. And one particular problem that I'm having with P with at least with the mods on, on Fallout 4, I do not believe that Xbox One is having the same issue because I've heard from multiple people on multiple occasions that Xbox One doesn't have this issue, just Sony, is that uh, no one can act, none of these modders can actually upload... Um, external scripts meaning that they cannot create uh additional plots or whatever that are you know user generated plots or anything like that uh for these mods and they cannot add voice actor uh voice acted characters or any of this stuff in any of these mods why because sony uh is very very strict on mods right now for some reason and it's really really stupid Sony, please get the please get the stick out of your ass and let people do this shit. Loosen your restrictions on mods. This is ridiculous. I mean, it, it, look at this for example. Unofficial DLC project. Uh, mini mods, blah blah blah. Basically, um, I I read through the description of this, and uh, you know, basically, there's no the person who made this mod wanted to add. Uh, its own plot, its own story point to this mod. I wanted to add voice acted characters, but of course they can't because freaking Sony is not allowing them to uh, add, uh, allowing people to add external scripts. So, uh, yeah, this is just 
a big problem for me. I, I really wish this stuff would... Uh, I really wish that Sony would get their head out of their ass right now and allow people loosen the restrictions on these mods. Uh, but yeah, beyond those two issues, I really haven't had any issues really with the mods. It's just those two in particular. I just... I, I Those two issues in particular, I really just don't... Everything else works fine. It's just those two issues that are really driving me crazy, and I wanted to kind of vent, uh, vent or kind of rant about them for a little bit. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give it a like, uh, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care.